is up everybody um <laughs> i haven't made a video in a while so i thought it'd be best to make one let me turn this down a little bit here um i just left the gym i kind of been comp contemplating on making any more videos right now um i usually take my camera with me everywhere but uh due to some unforeseen circumstances of work and uh other military duties i've yet to like put down um, some good content for you guys. So just made a quick video here, let you guys know I'm not gone. I'm just uh, taking a little bit of, I was taking a break. Um, so now there shouldn't really be any issues. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me to go get my, uh, start my day, get my haircut maybe. I don't know, just uh, just a little ride along. I mean, don't mind me, my car's really dirty. I'm trying to do this in one take. I just left the gym and I'm actually running super late right now. As I'm recording this video, I gotta let my car warm up just a little bit. Um, I do live in Ohio, and it's like 40 degrees outside right now, and my car's been sitting here for an hour and a half. Um, so yeah, off to that. All right, what's up? Holy white balance. Um, I'm just recording real quick because I literally forgot to start recording again while I started driving. So just want to hop back on the camera. Um, I'm running late for my appointment to get my hair cut. As you can tell, I got a whole ass beanie on um so like yeah i'll tell you guys in in a second all right so I, I stopped driving i just got my hair cut so now i'm just basically i just want to touch on something real quick because it's my pet peeves um and i i i just want to touch on it and see what else what else everybody else thinks about this but i've i've spoken to my buddies about it in the past you know, it's something that grinds my gears. And as a car enthusiast, I get it. Like, I didn't start with the WRX. I've had five other cars, six other cars before I had this WRX. Five other cars. Um, so I know how it is to have, like, an economy car and a car that is within your means. Granted, WRXs are not. They break. They're expensive. They're not economy cars. My warranty is absolute awful. Beyond that... I just want to touch on like a big pet peeve of mine because again, what I just said, I used to have an economy car. I used to have a Nissan Sentra. I used to push it. Went through two CVT transmissions. Yes, CVT. They're awful. They're the worst. They are literally the cancer of cars. That's my opinion. Take it as you want. But that's not my point. So my point is my big old pet peeve I've spoken to it a bunch of times I've I, I, it bothers me is when I'm going somewhere and I'm blatantly not trying to race someone like I'm just minding my own business and I look over because this happened today earlier today and it's also happened in the past a bunch of times I look over my rearview mirror and I see a freaking Kia Yes, a Kia. Kia. It's usually a Kia Optima or a freaking Forte. Granted, stingers are different. I haven't had any issues with stingers. I've had... It, it, basically, I'll look over and I'll see these cars in my rearview mirror. They are on my butt, like all the way on my ass. Like up my ass so well that I can see them through my tent in my rearview mirror. I can see their face. And then they fly around you and then they get next to you. Maybe I'll be going like maybe 75, 80, somewhere in that ballpark where I'm I'm cruising. Not doing anything, not even in boost, just in six gear cruising. And they try to do cruise control. I'm not getting baited. Now here's the thing. I'm not getting baited into racing economy cars. It's not that I'm too good or anything like that. It's just that I'm well into my 20s. I pay more than enough for this car um, for my insurance alone. It's not something that I want to get pulled over for doing, especially against like an economy car. Granted, if I do get pulled over speeding or trying to race someone, I would like to be pulled over doing something against something that is significantly faster than your average economy car like a, a Forte. In my opinion, like, my car is not an economy car, so 
I have had times where I've tried to race cars that I know are completely out of my league, that are heavier and faster than my car, but I can keep up a little bit. I can mess with them. If I got sick of doing it, so what? That's me being stupid because that car is, um, for example, like a Charger or a Hellcat. Well, not a Hellcat, but like a P92 Snapback, something like that. I know I can sort of keep up with them. They're faster than me. They're heavier than me, but like it's different because my car is not an economy car. Their car is not an economy car. And this may be very contradictory on my part because I'm saying, okay, well, I'm going to race somebody faster than me. I know I don't have any business messing with this person. But it's a big old pet peeve when it's like a normal, basic ass traffic car like a like a freaking Kia like that's trying to race you. Like, dude, leave me the fuck alone. And it's not the fact that they try to bait you once. It's the fact that this has happened before. And I don't know. I don't want to group everybody all together. Like, you Hyundai people are different. But, like, Kia people, like, they will follow you and still try to race you. And I don't understand the logic behind that. Like, I, you didn't bait me when you first tried to pull. I'm not going to race you now. Leave me alone. But, again, that's my opinion. That, that's my opinion. I'm trying to do this in one big old take. Um just to show you guys I'm not cutting anything out or anything like that. But that's my opinion. And if you're watching this video, I just want to know, as a car enthusiast, not outside of that, not your pet peeves personally, but pet peeves are personal, I guess. But what's your car enthusiast or your car person pet peeves? What drives you absolute bonkers? I'm not talking about, oh, well, when my boyfriend or girlfriend does this and leave toothpaste. No. What's your pet peeve for let me know, like and subscribe, drop some comments or whatever, or even post on social media and tag me in it. What are your biggest pet peeves and what things we should have left in 2020 that drove you nuts in the car community that you really hope goes away in 2021? Um, again, there's no limits for this. You can drag me through the mud, you can drag anybody you want, or whatever you feel necessary in your own opinion. What is your pet peeve when it comes to the car community, cars in general, or just like being a car enthusiast? What drives you nuts? Um, again, I already said it once. Um, just drop a like, give me a subscription, and share my videos. Um, I'm trying to get my YouTube page up and running. I have a lot going on. Um, so if I post a video here and there and sprinkle it in throughout the week or throughout the month, show some support, and I'll follow you guys back. Again, my name is Rico. Thanks for watching and peace out. That does sound pretty good. Yeah. It's funny because he's really not moving that fast.